Hello and welcome. In last videos we talked about the txt files and csv files and as I said today we will go again with csv files with automatically data exporting with Visual Basic script. Can we repeat some moments that we have the csv option that we can write the heading to the file we have the folder and we have the heading and we can write the value the value is here so if you write is 2 is 3 and for example is 11 now if we open we have our data but let's say Today we need to make the one script that can make all these things and we need this script run every one minute, every one second, for example, every 10 seconds. Okay, so let's prepare one Visual Basic script and we go with automatically data exporting with uh, some sometimes uh, in Visual Basic script actions. Just now, let's make the button. Let's name this automatically. And this button needs to make for us the create the file if it's not available inside our system. And if this file is ready we need to write the data so i have the script i have again the dim options the file path with the test csv we create the object for the scripting we open text file to the appending data and we write the heading but now, if we run the script, we have only the heading inside this file and we need to write data every time we run this kind of script. So, if, if we run the script, we need to write the heading if it's not absent and if it's already inside our script, inside our file, we need to write the values. Okay, so before we need to check if our file is available inside the Windows system. We have the object FCO, so we can check if our file is, is available inside the system. So we write the FCO dot and we have option file exists. And this file exists has the option we can put the string for the file path. So we can put the file path. So this option will check for us if our file is in our disk or not. So we can make the if function if this check is for example true we want to make only data writing and if this file is not existing we need to write the heading option so we need to make the else And end if. So if our script, if our text is not absent in the, inside our system, we need to write the heading. So let's make the check syntax. Okay, we need the double.
single is okay. So now, if our script, if our file is existing, we we open this, and if our script is not absent, we need to create this file. So we can leave the same like we have or for example we can put two here and in this position we need to write the heading option so let's save this and let's run this we open this D we have this file so after we put this script we shouldn't delete this option okay let's go back and let's go back to file and we need to click csv automatically button we go to edit and this file doesn't change but now if i put delete option and i put this button again and I go to folder, okay, the file is here, but the file has only the heading. Okay, so we have fresh file with only the heading. Now we need to make the script that we write data from this IO field into CSV file every time we make the click the button we have this script here we put the data set with the value and we write line the data set let's copy this into our new script so if file exists we only open this and we want to write this data okay we write data and we need this data set also as a internal tag and we can make the this option here or one So now we write line with data write date and value into file. So if our script file is existing, we write line with our values. And if our file doesn't exist we need to create this file we need to write line above the heading and we can write the value so we put two lines in one script let's save this and we go back to refresh this window after we have we go csv and when we open we have the date time and value and one more time oh it doesn't work okay because i i cut this line let's make this again let's save this we go back to refresh the window and we go back to csv automatically script okay now we have the heading and we have one line with value we can change the value for one click for two 
open the door we click and now if you open this cs file we have the heating and we have the values after we delete this file and click this script we create the cs file inside cs file we have the heading and we have the value with date okay now we have the script ready to make the automatically save data save the measurements from the system into cs file file we can copy this full script and we go to global script element we have visual basic script editor and we have for example actions we open this we open the action tab and we can create the new action this action we put our script so we have the full copy of our script this action is for example action one and we we can save this data let's say it's action one save okay and now this action is almost ready to complete our value saving into csv file we need to put the trigger the trigger we can put here so we can set the timer cyclic timer and for that for example let's say every five seconds we make the value insert into our csv file we go to apply we go to ok and we see this cyclic and five seconds apply ok now we need to deactivate the runtime After we activate the runtime again, we should have the possibility to save data into CSV file every 5 seconds. So we can delete this CSV and every 5 seconds we should have the new CSV file. As we see, we have now if I change the value, let's say 10, 15. One hundred ninety-nine. Okay, now if I go to CSV file, I see the values. It's automatically measurements from our system from VCC. We use the Visual Basic script action. Every five seconds, we have the one value with date time if we want to write more values into this csv we can just put this into visual basic script if you like this subscribe this channel and let's wait to another tutorials inside vcc v7 see you later